in in this uh, storytelling about the speculation around the Gabby um, Petito um, murder, disappearance, and the now um, theft of her car, disappearance of her uh, much needed laundry, or Brian laundry, uh, who now on the run, uh, deceiving the very brilliant North Forth police and the Sarasota County police, as I mentioned before, to such an extent that they're, they're doing things using a submarine to go into swamp that probably never gets much deeper than 10 feet. It's meant for the for gulf or large bodies of water or big lake with a lot of deep areas and clear water. This is murky water. This is swamp water. And they're using this submarine, very expensive tool to do searches. Uh, Sarasota County in its lame um, sheriff's department, uh, making them look as bad as the terrible North Fort Police. Anyhow, <clears throat> so he's on the run. Uh, parents loaded him up with money. And while he gets away over time, in the near term, the parents are going to get charged with obstruction of justice. Uh, protecting run. They're really in big trouble. I, I, I guarantee you this. And then, so he's going to hit his cell phone and all, and the what he does with it is going to be watched, and their cell phones are going to be watched very heavily in, in the near term. So this whole thing is 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 not done. And the the adventures of Brian La Laundry are are not going to end up in the laundromat. Uh, they're going to end up in the public, and the parents are going to be in, probably in jail before he ever gets back. I'm not going to go further with these speculations, but they're, I would say, reasonable speculations with the folks in this bloody situation. The bloody edge is sometimes what you get, and I apologize for nothing more than speculation like so many others. And many of you probably thought of these things and say, who needs to listen to this clown? But I'm just offering this up. So it's a shared response that many, many people have. Nothing special about what I'm saying, but it's an, it's how many girls get lost in at this time in Wyoming in, in, in the Teton Forest. The estimator of 80 or so die there, young young women in similar kinds of circumstances. Indian women especially to take and raped and left dead, left for dead. So. Uh, we'll talk to you again, and the bloody edge will be right there with you. Thank you.